Hello everybody, Phyllis Moore, Philosophically Speaking, and I am gonna wrap it up. I'm just gonna wrap it up because there's probably nothing new under the sun that I can tell you if you've been on this journey for any length of time and you've asked your questions of your caregivers and your health professionals, if you've run ragged all over the internet and looked up what you need to until you your eyes have glazed over and you just can't handle it anymore. If you have gone through all your therapies and all your surgeries and you are just weary and you are at your wits end or you just dropped something like whatever happened out outside just like bam okay sonic boom wake me up but um, the important thing is to just sit with yourself to accept there's a lot of silver linings I don't know what they'll be for you some of it might be acceptance of yourself and your frailty some of it may be adapting to your new normal and just going you know what I'm just happy to be here and it might give you a greater appreciation of life or realizing everybody's got something it might make you more compassionate to others maybe it's been about slowing down and saying you know what this is it and and I want to enjoy every day even if I have to do it in a different form and at the same time it might be that your gift will be to encourage others and I want you to think about that root word when you encourage someone, you are giving them courage. You may think you're not strong, you're not brave. What do you have to give? You know, you're just a person. You're just an ordinary person. I guarantee you, you are extraordinary because you have things that only you have, that you were created uniquely to give to other people. And I hope that you have a good support system, that you don't feel like you're alone or that you literally are alone because everybody you know has moved away or passed away I don't want that to be a discouragement because again that root word discourage courage is the root word and if you are discouraged you are lacking courage and you don't want to feel that way you don't want to feel lonely for any length of time like no one cares about you because that is a horrible feeling and we can give into it and and just have it be burying us or really weighing us down. And that is why something like this YouTube channel, philosophically speaking, I'm Phyllis Moore, something like this, social media, can be your outlet to feel like you're not alone, that there are other people who might understand or have some wisdom or pass along something to you, pay it forward, so that you know, oh my gosh, I can connect somewhere, somehow. I hope if you have not already, you will click like, share, subscribe, weigh in and, and send a comment because this can be a two-way conversation. You are not alone. If I've learned nothing in my journey in cancer and just, just being alive on this earth is that we all need relationship. We need to have others that are willing to spend time with us care about us even if it's briefly we might just be friend for friend for a reason friend for a season or friend for a lifetime you never know but be open to that and also for me be on the giving end and not just the receiving end when I was going through cancer I received a lot there were people who gave me a prayer shawl or a chemo basket that had magazines and puzzle books and lotions and different things that that would kind of help me pamper myself and, and while away the time it might be a prayer it might be a note it might be a card and if you like to receive those whatever your love language is maybe it's gifts of service maybe it's presents tangible reminders maybe it's a note maybe it's a hug whatever that is that speaks to you get in touch with that and also think about not just things you would like to receive because not everybody has the same interests but if you find out that your friend really values you know do something for her take her take her for a ride or go pick up something for him or her or go run an errand whatever it is speak the language that means something to the person on the receiving end but it's really a two-way street that we need to give we need to not just receive we need to be in a position of knowing that we are not traveling alone care about other people I hope you do because if you want those that you know or that you don't to care about you then it needs to be reciprocal it cannot just be one way and 
I, I, you know, when we have things happen to us, it might be cancer, it might be specifically breast cancer, it might be any kind of diagnosis, or it might be that we're just having a bad day and we just aren't feeling the best and we give into it and think, this is the worst. It's probably not the worst. But what do you do with the cards that you've been dealt? Do you play them? Do you throw them out the, the door and say, I hate these cards? Because I don't know about you. Maybe that works for you. That doesn't work for me. I don't want to ever trade places with anyone else. I don't think I could handle it. I think my circumstances sometimes are the worst. They're not the worst. They're just hard for me. But I guarantee you, I probably couldn't cope with your circumstances or someone else's. We, we just sometimes, it's like we don't know what we have. And at the very least, as bad as my scenario can be, I'm going to do my best to cope with it. So whether it's passing on encouragement to someone else or, you know, being a stumbling block, I don't want to do that. I, I have sought to help others, to encourage them, not to give false hope, not to say, hey, it's going to be okay. It's, you're going to live happily ever after. We don't know that. We can't know that. But say words that would raise people up, that would be healthy for them, that would be encouraging for them, to let them know that they're not going through it alone. And everybody is different. Maybe some people like to just be by themselves. And maybe you're on here because you don't want a lot of socialization. You don't like that interaction. You're not a hugger and, and you really don't want a lot of talk, but you don't mind listening to somebody who's a stranger who you don't know and you can turn off if you, if you need to. Maybe that's what my, the role that I'm serving. But I just hope that whatever life hands you, you don't sit there and get picky and persnickety and go, why me? Why is this? Happen? You might feel that way and that's, that's wonderful and acceptable and understandable, but don't dwell there. Don't dwell there fighting a battle you don't need to fight because how do you use your energy? I don't know about you. I don't want to waste my time or my energy if there's a better way to do it. So I'm not going to hold on to things that I don't need to. So, you know, just pace yourself. Pace yourself in terms of kindness, in terms of how you use your energy. You know, the, the last thing you need to do is be holding on to resentment and unforgiveness for somebody that, that hurt you 10 years ago. Let it go. Let it go. Save your strength for another kind of battle, which is living your life, taking care of you, and being the best version of yourself you can. So, you know, these are not difficult truths. I just encourage you to rest, to drink lots of water, to eat healthy foods, you know, fuel yourself like you would your car. You would not put sand in your gas tank. You would not put Kool-Aid in your gas tank. You know, that's not going to be beneficial. You need to use the right kind of fuel to keep it going and to keep it running. Same with you. And, and do the very best that you can. If you do your very best every single day, you know, you might not tackle the world. Gosh, you're going to come so much closer to the mark than if you rust. You know, you're going to rust out. That's not good. That is not good. We're going to talk about other things, and, and I'm sure we'll double back and probably mention, you know, this, this topic again. But you can always review it again for yourself, for someone else. It might be that it's, that it's helpful. I hope that there was something that was said that just even if it just struck a chord or a spark or just lit a little fire to know that, you know, you are connected to this world and to other people and you serve a purpose and there's probably somebody that you can help or encourage or learn from, or you might be the one that they learn from. We are not going this path alone. And if you, if you have gone through this life unscathed and haven't had any diagnoses or any bad things happen to you, fabulous, maybe you won't. But when and if things do happen, as they do for many and most of us, what we do with that type of situation, what we learn, because there's always lessons, there's always silver linings, and there are always lessons. And what you do with them will determine how you go through from this point on or how you help others go through it because it might not be all about you we're not on this planet alone and you can't go very far without bumping into somebody if you don't believe me just try going to the bank at three o'clock in the afternoon and thinking nobody else will be there but you 
No, you never go anywhere where it's just you, I don't think. I mean, I haven't had that experience, but hopefully you'll find things to laugh about, smile about. If you can, I'm telling you, you are ahead of the curve because sometimes when we just laugh or smile or chuckle and let go of the rope is like, let everybody else be angry. Let everybody else be mean and mad and whatever. I'm traveling light. It just works for me. I thank you for tuning in, whether you've been here for the whole series or not, and whether you will keep coming back and, and view other videos. Click like, share, support, support, share, whatever, support. Yeah, I need all the support I can get, help me. Uh, but we are, we are hopefully on this path together and we are better for it. So God bless you, friend. Keep, keep doing what you're doing to the very best of your ability. I want you to have quality of life and I hope that you will comment and weigh in and we will continue this conversation. Bye-bye now.